Hey, this is Mrs. Hasmer, and today's uh, lesson is the weather project. Actually, it'll be a week-long project. Anyways, um, it's a STEM project for the week. You're going to create a weather channel of your choice and report as a meteorologist the weather patterns for an area. Predict the week's weather of that location as well. Okay. So the weather project, um, number one, the weather forecast must be realistic. If you pick Chicago, Illinois, you should not include a tsunami as part of your coverage. Number two, the weather forecast must match the normal climate weather patterns for the area you choose. Number three, your forecast must include at least five of your vocabulary words. You should try to use as many of the vocabulary words as possible. Number four, your forecast should include integers. It should include the high and low of the day in a chart or graph. Using integers, tell me the difference in temperature between the high and the low of the day. Number five, the forecast should be for the day you are broadcasting and six more days. That will be a prediction for the rest of the week for a total of one week. Number six, the presentation should be made using Google Slides or a PowerPoint. This will be your background for the presentation. Number seven, you should record the presentation. Once the presentation is completed, the student will download a copy into our Google Classroom for viewing later. Number eight, the group will decide the different jobs, which everybody is doing it online, so we are working alone. Um, but if you were in person, each person would have a job for the station. Number nine, everyone is working alone, so please make sure to ask for help if you need it. Number 10, everyone is responsible for the weather project presentation. If someone is absent, you need to be able to complete the project. So that's more if you were doing it in person. Okay, so your goal for the first day is to research on a laptop and pick a location or locations for your broadcast. Gather pictures of your location on the internet the broadcast needs to be realistic for the climate and weather of the location during the timing of the broadcast. You need to research your area's climate and weather patterns for February, or if you want to do a different time of the year, make sure to include the dates that you are making your forecast. Also come up with a name for your weather station. So the goal for today, the first day, is to write down your location. Uh, the location for my broadcast will be whatever the location is. And the name of my weather station is, and you can just pick whatever the name is, okay? But also include your name. <laughs> okay, so day two is your vocabulary words. You're gonna use as many as possible for your presentation. So for um, the next five slides, I think it is, you're gonna write down the definitions for these words. But as you're writing down the definitions, Try and figure out where you're doing your broadcast, which vocabulary words you will use. Okay, and then one of the days is going to be your homework day. You're going to watch a weather forecast and you're going to answer the following questions. What channel did you watch the weather forecast? What is the meteorologist's name? What is the high and low of the day? And use an integer tell me the difference in temperature between the high and the low of the day. Okay, and here's your rubric for the weather project. To receive an A, all of the components must be completed. Number one, the weather presentation included more than five vocabulary words. Number two, the weather presentation included a chart with the high and low temperatures for a total of a week, using integers for the difference in temperature between the two temperatures. Number three, the presentation predicted the next six days for the forecast. Number four, the weather for the location was correct for the location. Number five, the vocabulary words were used correctly. Number six, the spelling was correct. And number seven, the presentation was amazing. Okay, to receive a B for the presentation, one of the components is missing. To receive a C for the presentation, two of the components are missing or partial. And if the students received a D or F on the presentation, they can present again. Okay, live or pre-recorded your weather forecast. The day of the presentation is supposed to be this Friday. Um, the meteorologist can dress for the part that day. And any props you would like to use or make are welcome. Here's a chart 
representing a whole week's um, temperatures. Um, you can make your own chart. Here's an example. It should include the high and low of the day and the date. You will also predict six days worth of temperatures. The first day is the actual weather for that day. So I just did February 22nd through the 28th, okay? Um, the high for the day it was 37 degrees Fahrenheit. The low was 15 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So I just went across. And then the next slide shows you where I subtracted um, the difference in temperatures. But if you have negative integers, you're going to use absolute value. So in other words, February 25th, it was 22 degrees outside. And it, uh, the low, that was the high for the day. The low for the day was negative 2. So that's a 24 degree difference between negative 2 to 22 degrees. Okay? So remember that if you need help with uh, absolute value, I will be able to assist you. But you need that chart. Okay, so now you're going to watch a weather forecast with my favorite meteorologist, which is Tom Skilling. You can read about him first, and then if you hit this link, there's a, a weather forecast. Okay, and if you hit this link, NOAA weather, um, you could type in anywhere, and it'll tell you what the weather is for that location. Okay, create your own weather station as a meteorologist. So this just sums up exactly what I've told you. I will add some blank slides so you can have the slides as a background picture as you are doing your weather forecast for your location. You will either broadcast live or make a video of your presentation. Please use at least five vocabulary words for your broadcast. Don't forget to make a chart for the day you are doing the broadcast and six days ahead, a prediction of the weather for that area. You will also need to tell me the difference of the high and the low for each day. I suggest making a video in case you need to redo your presentation. Have fun learning and you will be successful. Okay, these are just the blank slides that you can use or you can do a PowerPoint, whatever you choose. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.